The stench of rotting flesh hit us as soon as we stepped out of the car. Once it grabbed hold, there was no escape. Hours later, I could still feel it on me, and it was several days before I stopped imagining catching whiffs of it. Amy, our guide for the day, offered us face masks, but we all declined. If she wasn't wearing one, then we weren't either. If we had any sense, we would have accepted. But none of us wanted to look as if we couldn't handle what was coming. After all, we were from the FBI. We could tough it out. Bug spray was another matter entirely. I wasn't about to turn that down. This wasn't just about preventing mosquito bites or Lyme disease. I knew any insects within a one-mile radius would have just finished nibbling on rotting corpses, and I wanted to keep them as far away from me as possible. A cartoon vision of a bug wiping its dirty feet on me like a welcome mat popped into my head, and I laughed to myself. It wouldn't be so funny if blowflies or maggots ended up in my hair. So I grabbed the insecticide again and kept spraying until the can hissed that it was empty. Lavender gloves and baby blue booties were handed out next, the same kind doctors and nurses wear. For the next hour, we'd be walking through mud, muck, and a host of bodily fluids. I stared at the chain-link fence topped with coils of barbed wire. This wasn't the strongest of security measures, but then again, not too many people tried to get inside anymore. Apparently, the shock value of having hundreds of naked bodies lying out in the sun had worn off. 